which we have handled, which we have seen with our eyes, round again. This is the word of truth. We have not followed cunningly devised fables. So we were eyewitnesses of this thing. We walk in Bible, but we have seen the Lord. Our eyes have seen the Lord. I don't know about you. When you have become a supernatural Christian, God gets into you and starts walking himself. He no longer leads. He is now Ayakara. 100 percent true. true. I saw German written on your forehead like German. 10 October. Yes. 1981. Better do it. You know me and you know everything. <laughs> if I be a prophet of God, miracle money now. Declared miracle money. There's 55,000 in his bank account. How much is this? But it's not 150, and I only had items. Yeah. Supernatural weight loss. Somebody who is sick can just be healed like that. This is the good news we preach. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction. And always worth hearing. The book of Matthew chapter number 3, verse number 11. Indeed, I baptize you with water unto repentance. Hmm. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I'm not worth to even untie. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Shout fire. fire! I want you to understand because I understand a lot of people have no idea what is written on things that they eat. The Colgate that you actually use or use this morning has a fine print that they have not told you about. It's there. It's written on the Colgate. Even after I read it, you will be so shocked it's there. Here is what your Colgate that you use today reads. The one you give your children, two year olds, three year olds. Here is what it reads. On the Colgate box and on the Colgate tube itself. Fluoride toothpaste is packaged with mandatory warning and this is the mandatory warning that is there on the Colgate you use, and most fluoride toothpaste. Keep out of reach of children under six years of age. And I know a lot of you have actually told your children, brush your teeth at four. And the tube you bought actually says, don't give them. Ah. Let me read it again. Keep out of reach of children under six years of age. Now, this one is an independent one, even for adults. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, let's hear what they say we should call. Get medical help or contact the poison control center right away. The one you ate, that food you ate and you brushed using the Colgate you used. They say if you swallow more than is used for, and I know it has happened. They say call the poison control sender right away, not two minutes later. That means they know you are ingesting poison. So they sell poison knowing it. They advertise the poison, you buy the poison. You recommend the poison, even to your kids. And they actually wrote it there, it's poison. This is just a warning for Colgate. In this way, there is a warning for you. It says, touch not my anointed. 
And my anointed does not mean the preacher. Every one of you is anointed. You come with a warning. Tell your neighbor, I come with a warning. Tell your neighbor, I came with a warning. It is written plainly in the sacred scripture. In the word is written, touch not my anointed. You came with a warning. But the problem of Christianity is simple. Sit down. The problem of Christianity is very, very simple. In this generation, we are the most privileged by Christendom. We are the most Christian group in Christendom. The most privileged and powered human beings. But we are the weakest. I'm sorry to announce that this generation of Christians we have is the weakest ever. Should be the most powerful, but it is the weakest ever. He says, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But Jesus is coming, who is baptizing you with what? With the Holy Ghost and with fire. When you hear the word end there, it is the word kahi. It is the word that connects the Holy Ghost. So these are not different baptisms. Mm. Okay. Mm. Amen. It is only one baptism, the Holy Ghost baptism. Amen. When it says end fire, it means the Holy Ghost that produces fire. I know you are not hearing me at all. The Bible says the Holy Ghost that gives boldness. So you never need to pray for boldness. You just don't know it, but you're already bored. I wish I could talk to you. You don't know it, but what? You're already bored. Are you flowing? So now, what I need now is people not only baptized to the level of speaking in tongues, that's where we have entered. That's why preachers are opposed daily. That's why your whole family opposes you and you are a Christian and nothing happens. Because you lack the fire of the Holy Ghost. You can speak in tongues, but you don't have the fire. Ah. Say he sent fire. Baptism of fire. Baptism of fire. <laughs> what causes generations to go for life, for years, with no fire at all? I want to show you something. In a few songs. 2 Timothy 4, verse number 14. 2 Timothy 4, verse number 14. Immediately. Are you hearing me? This is Paul, Alexander the coppersmith, did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. There was no forgiveness. Amen. See, see, see. I, I, I could tell I'm talking to weak people. Let me try this side. The same apostle Paul who says, Alexander the coppersmith did me evil. May God forgive him. No. May God have mercy on him. No. Reward him according to the evil he did to me. Anyone who touched you, they shall be touched by fire. Oh yes. Tonight I revived the Shiloh conference in one service. Every name that is fighting you, fire! Listen to me. Next week's testimonies will be people who were standing and they just say fell. They just fell. Next week's testimonies. Jesus saw a fig tree. A real tree. Not a human being. A tree. You understand if you come from Africa, uh, we keep some very, uh, some very ferocious dogs that when they get angry, they can chew on a tree. 
You know when you get angry that you can curse a tree. Yeah. Now you're missing me. I know you're missing me. At the back there you can go home. We are here. We are okay. All I cry for is a baptism of fire. No. We have done so much to forgive. That our enemies don't think we have power. We have spoken in more tongues than we have spoken the judgment of God over a situation. Apostle Paul says, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. I know you're not hearing me, so I will try and make it very, very fast. Are you hearing me? He did me much evil. Sit down, sit down. Sir. He did me much evil. May the Lord reward him according to his works. Brother Branham was standing in one location and he was doing the cues and people were being prophesied to. And those who wanted to get deliverance from him would explain to him the problems that they were having. And one couple came to the front with another man and they were uh, presenting to the prophet as he stood behind the podium. And as he stood behind the podium, they began to explain to him that there is a problem that they were having that uh, uh, the lady said, I have cancer and I want you to help me with my problem. And Branham looked at the lady and said, behold, I see you sitting around the table with a green cloth and you were sitting on this side, and you were sitting on this side, and you were sitting on this side, and you said, you are going to come to this conference to try and see if I can see. Now, by fire, you now have the cancer you were looking for. Did it not happen in the HICC when in our mad days, our crazy days, a woman stood there with a fake pregnancy. And I stood from the pulpit and I wanted to say it's now nine, uh, seven months. This is, and I said, no way. This is a fake pregnancy. From now onwards, you will not have a child. Fire for fire. Sit down. Jesus got to a point where he saw a fig tree. A fig tree. Not a human being. And notice how unjustifiable his cause was. The book tells us that Jesus moved seasons and said there is everything should give fruit after its own season. That means the fig tree was given fruit after its own season. And it had been commanded by Jesus who is God. <laughs> Notice what the scriptures say. So that you know it doesn't make sense. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came. If maybe he might find anything thereon. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. Why? Not because the fig tree was argumentative. No, sir. It was not time for figs. Who made the figs to choose when to give fruit? Is him. So the fig tree is in obedience. The fig tree is obeying Jesus by not having figs. But Jesus gets there and he wants to see figs. And yet he instructed the fig tree not to. Even if I was the fig tree, I would have a problem with him. Let's go. First because of time. Jesus answered. That statement the answered means the fig tree spoke. They, they didn't get it. If the Bible says and Jesus answered, the fig tree spoke. You can pass by the bank like this. And the bank says, poor man, poor man, poor man. Don't pass by it. Wait. I give you ears to hear those who oppose you without you. Yeah. 
up, sit down. Your problem is you are listening to gossip. What they said about you. What this one said about you. What this one said about you. Have you heard what the bank said? Have you seen what the $100 said? I will never come to your pocket. That's why the Bible says, preach to every creature. No, 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 no. no. It didn't say every human being. Every creature. When last did you preach to your bank account? They are not here. Let me try this one. When last did you preach to your bank account? To put your bank account here and say, see, my, my, see, see my, my friend, I speak to you the word of the Lord. You will not have 1,000. You will not have 10,000. Your minimum will be 40. You. Fire for fire. Sit down. Sit down. I want to teach you how to be people of fire. How to bend like fire. How to bend like fire. Because if you bend like fire, the world will come and watch you bend for Jesus. Turn to your neighbor and say, put me on fire. And the world will come and watch me bend. An atheist, an atheist was living 20 minutes away from the house of the pastor and from the church. And one night, he never visited the church. One night, the church was on fire. And the atheist ran with his truck to help douse the fire so that you don't be there. And when the preacher asked him, why have I not seen you in church? He said, I've never seen your church on fire before. It takes time. It will take time. It will take time. It's going to take time. This one will take time. I, I can tell this one will take time. So if your church was ever on fire, I would have come. But there was nobody on fire. Do you understand how Jesus did not ignore the fig tree? He answered it, listen, and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. Look, that means the fig tree likes to give figs. Because you can't curse a person on the thing they don't want to do. No, no, no. Money wants to come to your pocket. It wants to. Imagine it was cursed to stop giving fruits. We would think it is the job of the fig tree and the job of the fig tree, the fig tree should not like it. Jesus was going to another place. The following day, when they came back, they found the fig tree dried up from the roots. My question then is, so Jesus knew he was coming back the following day. Yet he never said, tomorrow when I'm passing here, he should have money. Never. You, you had money. I was on figs. And you did not even receive it. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. God said, this is the fig tree. I'm going to pass there. But if I don't curse it, the following morning it will be standing in my way, opposing me, showing me my lack of authority and power. So I curse it today. So tomorrow's testimony, when I pass by, would be mine. If you fire me from work, you are finished. Your great grandfather in the Lord, which is your pat great patriarch in the Lord, Benson Ida Hossa, was just preaching. Sit down. Preaching a service like this, someone like this. And he was preaching. Checking time went by. Boarding time went by. And the usher came and said, Say, We need to go. He said, No. They'll wait for me. Huh? Did you call them? No. They will wait. Do you know who I am? He bothered him, he bothered him. He grabbed the mic and said, this man is bothering me. I should catch a flight, but I'm not going now. They wait. They called the air, air, airport. The plane had been delayed. He continued preaching. Two more hours. Three more hours. Then they called. They said, it's about to take off. 
He went into the car. As they were driving, they got to the airport. They saw the plane there. Already gone. Already it's going. He said, get me out of the car. He said, plane, come back. You left it, Daosa. <laughs> ah! Men of fire. You, we are too weak. We are too weak. People just say anything against us. Not even a flu bug catches them. Nothing. They are smiling after they kiss you. They kiss your men of God. They are smiling. They are living their life. This season is a sign of revenge. Sit down now. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. May the Lord reward him according to his works. Not forgive him. Reward. Do you understand the Bible when it says this? No. Some of you think death is some kind of complicated thing. No. Death is a salary. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Sin is an occupation. It's an employment. When you sin, you have a part-time job. The people in the world are on full-time employment. The wages of sin is death. That means death is given as a payment for your job called sin. You are not hearing me at all. I have a strange feeling. It is coming from deep down my spirit. That nobody will touch you after this service. If they touch you, they shall die by correction. Sit down. Please keep your ear on the ground. You shall be writing it. Say, uh -uh, that guy, that guy who did this, that guy, that guy, you will see. The moment I drop this mic, that anchor will begin to work. We are not playing. We are not playing. We are not playing. <laughs> Sama hori kaya ready. Sejon na ligo akrus kalama. Mi vahende kaya kupro ningo day. Waba. Yes, so prokoto ziza. Mi vahende ka. Sit down. It's something you sit down in your house and say, wait a minute. This company has fired me. Don't take your bags. Oh, I don't know what to do. The Lord. No, as you are collecting your bags, you will not have anyone like me ever again. Not anyone better than me. It's not going to happen. And I decree and declare the profit you made last year will be lo the loss you make this year. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Until you call me back. Baptism of fire! How do you just leave it like that? How? How do they just go like that? You said sorry. You apologize. You are the one who apologizes every time. This is Christianity. It's not marriage. Sit down. A man, a man came, I said this is not marriage, it's Christianity. A man went to, to his wedding. He went to his father and said, uh, Dad, I want to get married. The father said, say sorry. He said, what? Say sorry for what? What, what sin did I commit? He said, say sorry. 
He said, uh, for what? He said, you said you want to get married. Say sorry. What am I apologizing for? He said, son, say sorry and I'll allow you. He said, sorry. He said, good. If you say sorry when you have wronged someone, you are mature. If you face, say sorry when you've done nothing wrong, you are married. <laughs> now, someone at the back there, they don't understand it. They're like, because you're not married, so you never understand what I'm talking about. For those who are not married, let me say this. Marriage is like a tin of gem and cockroaches. Some cockroaches are in the tin of gem. Some are trying to get to the gem. Those who want to get to the gem are really hungry. They want to get there. But those who are in the tin of gem are stuck, but they want to come out. <laughs> Forget about it. It's not part of the baptism of fire. <laughs> I always say marriage is made in heaven. And so is thunder and lightning. They come from the same location. <laughs> so sometimes there are no difference. Listen, imagine the apostle of faith, Paul, is saying, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. Reward him according to his works. Ha! The man who preaches grace, that in the book of Romans, he say, he puts a word called logizomai. And the logizomai means a conclusion. He uses about 19 times logizomai to try and detail that the whole thing of Christ is based on grace. He is the same one who writes, grace has been exhausted on this fool called Alexander the Coppersmith. Now we need revenge. There are some people who have frustrated the grace of God you have given them. By fire and by power. Fire! Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Remember the days of Shiloh? Yes, yes, yes. How people brought names of people that were fighting them. What were the testimonies on that day? People would just come and say, I brought a name, I've just received a text message. The person has just died. And I, they were expecting me to do it every year. I canceled it. And everyone, they wanted every year. But the paper started opposing me everywhere. They said he was killing people. In the New Testament, Ananias and Sapphira. And maybe you might think it was the apostle who was angry. The apostle literally said, you lied to the Holy Ghost. So who killed who? The Holy Ghost. Over what money? Was it the apostle who wanted money or the Holy Ghost? Don't answer. It's your homework. You are playing too much. There is nobody. You see, me, I'm a prophet. So I can have that man, he said. Then I get to a point where I become a father of the church. So sometimes you see it happen and you want to fix it. Your, your, your default point is let's fix it. But when a fool continues... We will oppose everyone who opposes you. Yeah. Every fire aimed at you. Yeah. Fire back. Yeah. <laughs> sit down, sit down. So, the great patriarch of our ministry, Benson Idahosa, sees the plan. He says, Come back. You left Idahosa. There's two dead. The people are standing there, the same man of God. Uh, get in, let's get in the car. He's two, he remains standing there like this. It disappears out of scene. 20 minutes later. Uh -uh. Is it not the same plane? It landed there. The driver doesn't know why he's there. The pilot, he has no why he's there. The driver, this one, is wondering. What the? He landed the plane. And they went with him into, on the flight. When he got to the entrance of the flight, he said, Hey! He had left me. This plan is safe because of me. Yeah. Ha! Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 
I was on my way to Florida, flight here, going to Dubai, Emirates plane. And as I was in there with some leaders, what happened was, I'm in the first class, and I saw my enemies. Remember, I'm seeing my enemies go, get in like this, like, oh, this guy hates me. Never even greet me. Because, you see, they were going to the economy, so they passed by the first class. And I'm seeing them go like this. No, no. Some of them just say, oh, thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. And they go, and I could see, this is the, that journalist who writes nonsense about me. This is that pastor who opposed me. Said, I'm just seeing them. I want to greet them, but they don't want to be greeted. You can tell when somebody doesn't want to be greeted. They just look at you and go like this. <laughs> you, know, you know, even me, I know. At one time, I moved with my brother from where he was doing his church, I think, some city sports stadium. I think it's that, that, that direction. And we said, let's go to the end there, but let's not take our cars. Let's walk on foot. He said, oh, you, you, people now know you too much. We will not get there. I said, look, I'll teach you how to walk if you don't want anyone to greet you. <laughs> now, for them to think, should I say hello? Major, ah, no. You look at the face, you just go like, ah, no, major, major will not work today. Major. Are you flowing? So these guys were just moving like this. So I knew. They hate me. They don't want to talk. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Then we get just Zambian airspace. And the plane just went shoo. And things are thrown, bags are coming. They're crying. People cried. You could hear noise from first class, from economy. Didn't matter you were in the first class, you cry. And first class is worse because that's the one. And people that didn't have belts on, tumbling all over the place. Like bags. It went on for like a minute or so. It looked like eternity. And I remained there like this. And the belt is like this. And I'm holding on to this like this. And my wife is holding. And I grabbed my wife like this. And she said, what's going to happen? I said, if it goes down now. Since the Lord said we are going to Florida. We will land in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> There is no going under if you are going over. Yes. Jesus said to his disciples, we are going over to the other side. And then the wind started to buffet the boat. And I want you to notice what the scriptures say there. It says, and winds started to buffet the boat. But look at what is happening around that. It says, and there were also other little ships with it. No report of the little ship being buffeted by any problems. Only big ships. Ah? Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. So Jesus said, we are going over to the other side. And the disciples are wondering, oh, what about the wind? What about the, what about the waves? The waves don't matter. What matters is the word. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Sodom and Gomorrah was burned by fire from heaven. When they were told it would rain fire, they did not believe it. Just as Noah did not believe it when he was told rain will come from above because rain came from beneath. The Bible says in those days rain came from underground to water the earth. There was no rain from above. And God came and said, there is rain coming. Noah was like, what? He had never seen rain from above. Lot is being told, it will rain fire. He had never seen rain of fire. But what he knew was the gentleman who spoke about the rain from above. 
his word could be trusted. So he was not running away from the fire. He was running away from the God who said it. Nah, you missed it. You missed it. You missed it. You missed it. And then she said, so, so, what's, what's happening? I said, we are landing in Florida. Then to give myself a certain level of power, I started going, ha! Huh? You don't fear nothing. No. I'm giving my flesh capacity to handle the trouble I'm in. When it stabilizes, there was silence in that place. I'd never seen so much head, so much prayer in one location for desperation. <laughs> we landed. When we landed, they opened one door. Thank God, the first class door. They didn't open the other end exit entrance, which is the other exit, which is the economy. The way my enemies came, knelt it down. We know it is because of you that we are safe. Trouble can push some senses in your head. Yeah. Sit down. I was with my team that I travel with every time. With Pastor Bevan was there. And this great team that I travel with. And turbulences like you've never seen in your life. It's Emirates again. Turbulences that even me, I had never seen. I said in the name of Jesus, nothing happened. And these guys are sitting next to me, and they are hearing prophet is saying, in the name of Jesus, it's not working. Because I looked at them, they were praying desperately. But their prayers, they were praying like this, Father, in the name of Jesus. Then they look at me like, <laughs> like do something, honestly. Are you not the prophet we have believed? <laughs> ah! Pastor Bevan came and sat next to the sit next to me. And these guys are in the other seats. And you could tell, I just looking at them, I'm like. <laughs> they had the Holy Ghost. But it had not produced fire. After a while, the pilot came again and said, we are about to get into more extreme turbulences. Sit down. It's just a, a very bad patch. But we, we, we will be all right. Hmm. It was as if some demonic entities are outside the plane, shaking the whole plane. You see the day you were born. You witness it like you sit there like this. So your mother is groaning in pain. You see it. You can even see your death. And you have no one to tell. Hey. I sat there and I said, you turbulence, yes. if I feel it again, you will see what I will do to you. Yes. No, 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 you didn't hear me. <laughs> what is the boldness to threaten a turbulence? Yes. Yes. What was it I knew the turbulence could be done to? What, what was I going to do to turbulence? The words came out of my fire. Yes. Do you understand that the devil is not afraid of you? He's afraid of fire. Let me explain to you. In the book of Ezekiel, it says, And you devil, by the fire that is inside you, I will consume you by the same fire. Huh? That means the devil is created of fire. And he makes his ministers flames of fire. That means only fire can quench fire. Ah, I don't understand what you, what you are saying. This is why the fire brigade is responsible for dousing fires. Ah, you got to have a certain level of fire with you to stop fire. When they see fire approaching, they can bend this side. So it doesn't have to cross. They, they're missing it. They will bend here so this fire can... The devil is made of fire. He can only be destroyed by fire. Fire burns. Fire cooks. Fire penetrates. Fire jumps. Fire is dangerous. Fire is hot. 
fire scorches, fire can fly. And in science and physics, we say matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. Fire has no weight and can't occupy space. Of course, they are now trying the signs of measuring weight. So, 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 so we understand that fire opposes signs. So anything that is bringing fire to your situation, the answer is fire. Sit down. What you lack is fire. You lack fire. So people ignore you because you have no fire. You can speak in tongues. I know that. You can tithe. I get it. You offerings. I know it. But you lack fire. How can you sustain fire? Here it is. Here is the trick of fire. <laughs> fire only continues burning if you add fuel. And oxygen. They didn't get it. They need to be life. And they need to be a fuel. Fire is burning. So what do I do? Should I tithe? It can bring fire to the business for one week. Should I give a seed? It might revive it for a few months. But what can I do to have continuous fire? The things of God are not taught. They are caught. You, you, you just know I, I caught it. I, I caught it. You're like, someone will be like, ah, I, don't, I don't understand it. What is he trying to say? He say, no, 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 I got it. Even you, when you try to explain to someone, you can't. You don't know what to explain. You just say, you know what he's trying to say? You say, I, I know what he's saying, but I can't. You know when you want to describe something, you say, you know, I want to lebrofa envra at kalaski for amfredisis. You can explain it better in tongues. I realize the trick of God is simple. I looked from Genesis to Revelation and I researched everything to do with fire. And I realized fire only occurred 100% only on one thing. 100%. It never failed to drop. It was whenever there was a sacrifice. No, 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 no. They didn't get it. Elijah did all the maneuverings and the movements and everything that he wanted to do. He did all this. He put all the, 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 the altars, the stones, everything. The fire never fell until you put an offering, a sacrifice, and the fire fell. So fire only falls when God sees the sacrifice. So, so you think I'm saying so a seed. No. Become the sacrifice. No, no, you're not hearing me. I said, become the sacrifice. Yes. Now me, I don't, I don't want to go to church at five, what, nine. Doing what at nine? I'm not doing it. I'll, I'll arrive at 11. That's why you don't have fire. When God sees you have given your all to him, that your body belongs to him, your clothes belong to him. Some of you have got suits and dresses that even when God touches you, you cannot roll on the floor. We are reaching a time where our beautiful ladies in this place, you will take the towel, wipe off the mascara, and say, it's time to cry before God. Remove that wig. It's time to fire. Remove those shoes, brother. It's time to go for God. If your dress is too expensive, that you can't cry before the Lord in it, Burn it. If your suit is too expensive, that you can't dance in it, burn it. Sit down. Do you think I just came to church because I liked to? No, I'm a sacrifice. I'm not sacrificing anymore. I am the sacrifice. Do you realize why when they talk against me, I never go on any video to try and justify it? I wait until God shows his power and I'm out of the, the woods. And then I can mention one or two things just laughing. That's it. 
While least I'm going through it, I never say it. Why? Because I'm not trying to defend my integrity. I have no integrity to keep. The problem with you is, you still have integrity. So when you become an offering, what begins to happen by God is God will push you to another level. Let me show you something. I know you're not hearing me. Are you, are you hearing me? In the apostolic faith mission, there was a man called Gwanzura. How many know Gwanzura? He was about to baptize in one of the rivers here in Zimbabwe. Full of the fire of the spirit. He's moving like this. He gets to the... He said, they said there is a water down there. there. And he brought some people to be baptized. When he got to the water, they said there are crocodiles. You can't baptize. He stood afar off. He said, Father, in the name of Jesus, every crocodile march out of this river. I want to baptize. In fires, crocodiles left. And they were seen as if they were basking in the sunshine. He entered in. And the people were hesitant to get in. They thought one or two <laughs> might have refused the instruction. Or maybe one crocodile might think of going back. He baptized. After baptizing, he left. He said, now, crocodiles, you can go back. Crocodiles. Ah! Motor! Fire! <laughs> hey! When you have the fire of the spirit, you all know how Pastor Chris is at easy when he's moving. You can't just find him going like, you just know. No, he's just, he moves very slow. Nothing. Imagine one day fire engulfs the whole hotel and he's in the top floor and the assistants start running away from the fire. Fire brigade, everyone is evacuated. Now the, the leaders are now looking for pastor. Where, where is he? So we left him. Oh my God. The man of God, you see, there is fire everywhere. Now they want to move in to just try to talk to the person to go in they said, no, 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 you can't. Nobody can go in at the moment. A few minutes later, he comes out. 2 a.m., 3 a.m. there. He's moving, tie everything, waistcoat, done. He was sleeping. He had time to go and prepare. Fire is there. In the mirror. Fire is burning. The hotel is going down. They asked him, say, Pastor, we were, looking, we were very sorry, we were looking for you. Why were you, what, what, what had happened? He said, no, I can't just come up like that. I represent Jesus, I can't just walk like that. You, you and me, fire. Fire! It is only when a man is fire that he's not afraid of fire. How do, you, how do you relax? Do you know the death of Jesus? The Bible says Jesus was sitting there like this. As he was sitting, he realized that he rose from the dead. <laughs> the Bible says he stood up, removed the napkin on his head. Are you hearing this? Yeah. Removed this on his head and folded it. Are you getting this? Yeah. And folded it. When he folded it, he took it to the other side and dropped it. He dropped it. And the Bible says he went back to the other side. How do you wake up and fold your clothes after realizing you are, you are alive? You know the cool that you require to have? After realizing you have risen from the dead, you have time to fold clothes. I know you. The moment you go like, You'll be pushing that rock. <laughs> ah! 
You came out of the grave. You are in the grave. You are alive. You go like, okay, okay, okay. And the Bible says, they found the napkin in the other side. And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes. So he wrapped the linen clothes and put them there. Then took the one on the head and moved to the other corner of the grave and put it there. In order. Time. Trust me. I'll be in Jerusalem after that. Just, just, just wow, wow. We will talk about the clothes later. After I'm out. With the same clothes. When Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Did he, did he pack his clothes? No. Until Jesus said, lose that man and let him go. Lose that man. You will come out of your issues in the name of Jesus. By fire. If you're watching me right now, from around the world, I send fire to you. This is a serious month. This Sunday is serious more than any other Sunday. I change the eye of the flesh. Replace it with the eye of the spirit. The tongue of the flesh. Replace it with the tongue of the spirit. You shall not be an echo but a voice. Hush. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Ah, ah. I don't know if you are getting me. Now, I almost got married to a prostitute. I'm going to tell you my own testimony. You can clear. If your amen is very, very weak like this. Almost. Almost. I had this beautiful lady from across the road from, our, from my father's business. And I loved her so much in the flesh. I said, this one is going to be my girlfriend, my wife. You, you can keep your testimonies. I tell mine. Because I know what you think. He's a man of God. Do you think he ever thought of these things? There is a, a young man here who I met just a few weeks ago in the other place. We, he took me to, he's called Admire. He took me to a Presbyterian church to go there and minister for the youth. He was Presbyterian. So I saw him in another church I was ministering. He's like, do you remember me? I said, I remember you. <laughs> and my caught and caught the lady that I was aspiring that you would be my girlfriend. No, I love you. It never happened. You know when you were young, you just feel it should happen by... You just feel like you, 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 you can sense it where we are already. You know that time where you start writing letters, I love you. Now, so I'm out there. I went to to Presbyterian Church. I had never ministered prophetically in public. And this guy gave me a chance. Ah, who should I invite? That girl, of course. Let's go. I said, today, if I don't tell her, if, if this thing, this love is not going to work after she sees me do what I do, it's over. I would have failed. He gave me a, the chance to minister. I started praying for people preaching the word and people are shocked at the word then I started prophesying and I could see the lady look like oh my god is this the guy that we played with from young age to here who is growing like this who is doing oh my god I did not know you can tell when you have impressed the lady thank you sir thank you sir some people don't get it she now starts telling others. You can tell she's trying to tell others that I, we, we, we're actually from the same, same location. So I went to the second. Now I left my, my beautiful prophecies for the last heat so that I can just 
mention mother's name, uncle's name, the grandmother who is dead name, this, this, the house. I left it so that I could just, you know, the, finish it. The others are seeing the power of God. There was the power of God, but I was seeing my closing session. So I started going there. Everyone is like, yeah, yeah. They were shocked. I could tell they're shocked. So I said, sister, come here. In the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a number like this one. Now I want to give a phone number. A phone number, way back, it was a big story. I turn around. I look at the seat the woman was. She's no longer there. Uh -uh. I'm about to give them my best prophecy. The girl I'm trying to embrace is gone. I said to the people, sing. I thought she was in the toilet, she would come back. So continue singing. I was not a preacher. I was just a man gifted. So protocol for ministry was not there. I didn't care. I loved God, but I didn't know what real love for God is. She did not come back. I said to my friend, you just touch this. I need to go. I need to go. We went back. I was staying in Craigiver Court in the avenues here with my brother. And the lady was staying across the road. We come from the same place. And when I went to the other side, I said, when I got there, guess what? I came out of this car. I'm moving to Craigiver Court outside. I'm seeing girls, about five of them, carrying Bibles. We're talking about 5 a.m. here. They were there for extra biblical <laughs> studies. <laughs> Why don't you believe people? You, you are. <laughs> so I went to the other side. And you see, like a person who has, who had never done it. I don't know how to approach a woman. What do I say? Who do I say I love you? What would it even mean? If they say no, what do I say? Women, you need to forgive these men. Some of them don't even know what to do. They know they can say I love you, but then what afterwards? See? See, some people are saying you are prophesying. These are men saying it. I went there. I realized, wait a minute. What is really taking place? When I got there, I said to this woman, I knocked on the door. As I was knocking, she answered the phone. She was like, whoa, wow. You never told me you do these things. I said, ah, oh, it's a small thing. So it's a small thing. <laughs> Just small, small, you know. I said, ah, no, you should have waited and see what the power of God came heavily after you left. She's smiling from ear to ear like a Cheshire cat. Now, here is my time to say I love you. What do I say? She kept on embraced about what I was doing in the prophetic like, oh my God, how do you see these things? Do you, do you see like numbers? Do you see like pictures like a TV? I just said, oh, it's, it's a very complicated thing. This is too, too many. She was becoming more beautiful as she was embraced. Ah. Stand up. So, she was like, oh my God, she's holding my hand. She's like, you know, just hold my hand. Just hold my hand. I'm shaking right now. No, women like shaking a lot. <laughs> I'm shaking. Look at this. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm like, don't worry. It's the anointing. I'm about to go. We will tell you next week. So, I realize I'm never going to say I love you to this woman. It's difficult. So I tried to hug her like this. She, you, know, you know the hug when someone brings the side hug? I tried to kiss her. Me. She was like, you, with what was coming out of your mouth, you want to kiss me, you want God to kill me. Imagine, I went to Craigiver Court and five 
seasoned Christians were waiting for the same kiss. A woman that was not born again, whose father had a beer hall, is afraid of a kiss because of the fire of God she saw. You are not hearing what I'm saying. The church was not afraid of the fire. The world was afraid of the fire. There is an ability by the world to recognize anointing. The church takes time to recognize anointing. Nearly married a prostitute. Until the prostitute told me she wasn't a prostitute in the sense of a prostitute. I'm just giving this as world church. A worldly girl could see it's not right. You want to kiss me with the same lips that prophesied? No, 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 no. no. You want to kill me. What if God was speaking to So, So I'm going to kiss God. Imagine being told by a prostitute that this is not right. And I went to my Craig Eva court and five ladies are there with Bibles. We just want to, t- she just, what, what you told, I want extra lessons. At 5 a.m. This is why I tell all my sons, you wake up. There are sons who pray for me, you are loud and your wives. But if you wake up, sir, and you're looking for your wife at 2 a.m. And you find the in the corner going, I'm praying for our father, pastor, uh, prophet angel. Yeah. Don't pray for me 2 a.m., 1 a.m. Be with your husband. Do your duties as a wife there. Yeah. Fire by power. By fire. Every one o'clock, your husband can't find you. And you know this is the time where he likes you the most. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Fire! Fire! Sit down because I'm about to finish. What is in these men and women of God that quenches the fire of the enemy? In the fire that is within you, I will burn you, devil. Ezekiel there was something in him <sighs> in order to be the fire I told you mm, thou hast defiled my sanctuaries by multitude of thine iniquities by the iniquity of thy traffic therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of you yes, sir. that means there was fire in the middle of the devil So the devil is made up of fire. And his ministers are flames of fire. So God knows only fire can quench fire. So your problem is you've been trying to quench fire using water. I was talking to prophetess in the early hours of the morning around 3 a.m. And she began to show me the other things that God was ministering to her. And we were discussing on this subject called the signals. Signals for war. And she began to elucidate, expurgate. Hey. She began to explain what it is to have signals for warfare. You think when Prosper is standing there and beginning to minister, what you are hearing is a song, but spirits are not hearing songs. I know you're not hearing me. You're not hearing me because the Bible says she began to give me this. I'm telling you now is a message that prophetess 
was telling me now. And I understand it by the spirit. But she was giving the proof and the support for it. How is it that when you sing, spirits don't speak English? No, they don't speak English. That's why the other brother was correct. I speak spirit. I don't speak English. I speak life. Why was he talking like that? Something in him. I don't care what you follow and who you move with that fights me. I don't care. That person who fights me is also of God. You who follow him and move with him, you're also of God. Doesn't face me one bit. And maybe your fight is in one area and the other one is okay. And we managed to speak about it and I realized he wasn't even talking about me. He was talking about somebody else in Ghana there. And I thought he was talking about me. So I answered him. <laughs> now do you understand if you just rush to, to respond? Now hear this. Are you? You had a scripture up there. I speak spirit. Now hear this, hear this. Demons don't speak English. Debele, Shona, Zulu, Spanish. They don't. Spirits don't. They use signals. Chords. What you need is spiritual data. This is what you lack. Like. You lack like the binary numbers of the spirit. You lack the binary digits of the spirit. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh what? Profiteth nothing. So to them, if you speak English, it is of no profit. That's why Paul says, I have this conclusion. That I will speak in tongues when I pray. And the understanding also. The word also means the little part. Right. If I say pray right now, you go, Father, in the name of Jesus. Right. You are wrong. Paul said, start with tongues. Then when you're about to close, speak a little bit of your known language. I will speak in tongues. I will pray in tongues. And then with the understanding also. The moment I say pray, the Machine gun tongues. Signals in the spirit. Do you understand I can get to, to my lovely wife and say, you know, baby, I don't love you. I'm greedy for you. It is to go in the same signal of love. Who goes to his wife and says, I love you now. Even your wife will be like, hey, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> you just have to go, I love you. Wow. Do you mean it? Oh, with all my heart. With all my heart? Uh -uh. <laughs> so even a tone in the spirit can tell you what you are feeling. So I can go to God and go, Lizo vongre escalo vongre eilis. Lara siko fraklira satle hashtag. Now you know this is intimacy now. Then when I see the devil, I go, Balabaya, Isko, Barita, Balaska, Inna, Marutia, Reza, Telegisio, Para, La Rushki, Bainel, Isko, Baya. Sit down. There are signals. 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 She told me something very important. When Moses, when Moses was about to pray for the armies to win, they raised their, his hands. Yes, yes. And the armies would win. Yet the Bible says, when you pray, raise your hands. Oh, oh, oh. In your head, you are just raising your head. You don't know that when God says, raise your hands when you pray, he is doing exactly what Moses was doing. He knows in the realm of the spirit when you raise your hands, demons remember what Moses did. Ah! 
fire. Say, you can just pray like this. Our enemies, no, our enemies are going down. They are defeated. Whosoever shall take me to court shall be dismissed as a liar. Yeah! 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 Ezekiel 11 verse number 2 Ezekiel 11 verse number 2 Pajure katabaya Sit down Sit down Sit down Ezekiel 11 Marishu my leg Then he said unto me Son of man these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city. <laughs> Imagine if you had no idea that there is someone who is causing mischief in the city. You just know that your planning permission for the building is not being approved. Do you know? Somebody is advising the council wrongly. It's a mischief. Now, you don't go and sit down and go like, okay, 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 I understand. No, you don't. Then he said unto me, son of man, right? Let's go. Which say it is not near. Let us build houses. This city is the cadron and be the flesh. Let's go. Therefore, prophesy to them. Prophesy to them. Prophesy against them. Love them. No. Bring them to church. No. You stand. Oh, yes. Father in the name of Jesus. Yes. Listen. He didn't say, do you know how to prophesy? Prophesy. I prophesy. Yes. When we come by next month, yes. they will not be in control. Someone did not even hear nothing. As of this coming month, they will not be in charge. They will not be in charge. Where are you? Are you London? They will not be in charge. Are you in New York? They will not be in charge. Are you in Zimbabwe? They will not be in charge. Wherever they are causing mischief in the company, in the company you work for, Prophesy against them. Yeah. 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 Ah. Let me show you something. Isaiah 41.15 Isaiah 4 to 115. Go down. Go down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. We are about to go. We are about to go. We are about to go. I told you it's going to be short. Eh? One, two, three. Behold, I'll make you a new sharp threshing instrument. You will have teeth. It's not saying, I will give you an instrument. No, you. You are the instrument with teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. Who oh, are you, O mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain. Before me, you shall become a plain. Somebody under the influence of my voice here. Oh, are you all mountain before me? You shall become a plain. Yes. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. Let me just show you something. Let me show you something. I'm about to show you something. Now, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I was in, in Dubai with one of my sons. He was there. And the man came to me and said, I have a person who is troubling me in another country. I said, okay, no problem. Find me one, two, three things and find me these scriptures. Come to my kitchen. I went in the kitchen with him. 
I said, now, I'm going to do something. And you will see. He said, the man wants to kill me. I said, do you want him to die? Or to not disturb you this time? He said, to not disturb me, not death. I said, okay, no problem. Because you order. See, they think it's this some funny joke. No, real stuff. I took my scriptures. Three scriptures. Then I added two more from the book of Psalm. Then I took Jeremiah put it there. I started speaking it the way I speak it. With the fire of the spirit. And I said, I push him in a place where he will be. Just like a vegetable in a place where he can't touch you now. The following day, where was he? In where? In, in the intensive care unit. Oh. Following day. Multi-millionaire. It's not 20 years ago. Just a few months. I believe it was March, April there. April. Following day. Intensive care unit. He said, they've just called me. They said, the man is in intensive care unit. I said, do you want us to finish him? He said, no. Just this only is enough. Last week he called me. He said, the man came out of the intensive care. He started fighting. I said, you see? I told you now. Do you want us to finish? Oh. Finish, Baba. You know when we are talking like this, there will be pastors that will be like, no, our Jesus will never do that. Who killed Ananias and Safira? People, we know the character of our God. He's a loving God, but love is just. Babalola, one of the greatest Nigerians to ever live, or rather Christians, one of the biggest apostles of power. In his house, to this day, they have intervals for prayer. You'll be sitting there if you visit his house. He's dead. He's gone. Yes, Becky died. But to this day, if you visit his compound, whatever they call a house here, they ring bells intermittently. Maybe after every two hours, a bell rings. Ding, 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 ding. The moment you, everyone hears it, even if you're a visitor, you see them kneeling down to pray for an hour. Then they relax for two hours. Then it starts again. You will not stay there. <laughs> I know you. Two minutes, you're already going like. <laughs> Have you ever prayed and you check the time? Yeah. 20 past four. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You think you've done an hour, you go 25 past. Ah! <laughs> and some people, since the days of Babalola, they have not changed. I believe it's two hours or three hours. I don't remember the actual time. But every, this segment of time, they are praying. One day, he went to a place where he was supposed to do his conference. When he got there, he stood like this and began to pray. And Sangomas and Voodoo and Jujumen came. They said, this is our full moon period or whatever that was. It's our venue. You can't do your crusade here. He said, what? I can't do my crusade in this place? They said, no. He said, no, 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 no. I booked it before you. He said, yes, but it fell on our days. And when the full moon goes, we can't have our thing. And we do it here. And people began to gather. They knew Babalola. He said, Father, in the name of Jesus. They went and called the other Sangomas and, and, and voodoo people and they started dancing their enchantments and putting their enchantments out there. And he said, Father, in the name of Jesus, make this day like the days of Dwatan and Korah. Swallow these people. Open the ground. Three men were standing in front. The main ones. As they were being swallowed, he dictated that leave one alive so he can tell others. And two men were swallowed by the ground opened and they were swallowed. One man who was bigger got stuck, came out, ran. <laughs> to this day, the ground that he opened is still there. The sign is still hey. there. Uh. 
This is an African. Not someone on TV. One certain disciple called Aeneas. Certain disciple, not apostle. Certain disciple. What happened to him? He prayed until the heavens were saturated with electricity. Paul, breathing threatenings for Christians, to kill Christians. He walked into the trap. And the Bible says the lightning struck him. Paul was hit by lightning. Imagine when you begin to pray that this whole Harare has electricity, your electricity in the atmosphere. You know it's me. We were in this, in this same place here. The stage was there. Those days, the stage was there. We still have the video. The stage was there. And rain started falling in Harare. Rain. And it was Brother Ted on the, on, the, on the cameras. And we, there was a door here. There was a door somewhere here. And it was so noisy because there, is no, there was no uh, ceiling. I went out there. And I said, church, wait. We are being disturbed here. I went out there. I raised my hand like this. I said, stop now. I want to preach. And let sunshine break over Harare. I went there. I went there. Rain stopped immediately. immediately. Sunshine everywhere. And now, the sun came. Now, people in Harare were enjoying my sunshine. Yes. Commanded by the prophet. <laughs> uh -uh. With Pastor Chris, he comes out of his plane like this. And it is cold. When he stepped on the ground, I heard him say these words. The son of the king of heaven is here. Remove the cold. I need warmth. Immediately. Britain with this cold winter. Immediately. At the end of that statement. Open. Light. Heat. Moving like this. Go out. On his way. He said, you know the people in Britain love their cold? God, remove this sunshine. Put, put their quinta. Immediately, sunshine closed like they'd be, it'd been instructed. Cold came. Exactly the same. The man was warm enough. He just needed heat from the plane to the car. He went like that. Talking about the, the power of God. You're talking about minutes, 30 minutes. No problem. Sun is there everywhere. People are removing their coats. Then he said, you know the British love their... their I think it, it would be unfair for them. Let me bring back their cold. Huh? Like you have the switch for the cold. Like you can just think and go like... Imagine controlling the thermostat of heaven. That the weather is yours. Elijah said what? He said, as long as... Bah, there shall be no rain, no Jew, no rain, unless I speak it. Sit down, sit down, I'm about to finish, I'm about to finish. Because this, this thing, fire thing has got a part two to it. Now, I'm getting into this. We had about me, 15, 30 people, you know, probably uh, 20 some people. Princess Hotel in Manchester. This location is called the Gay Village. It's lesbians are there most of the time. And that's where they do their parade and stuff like that. And apparently this hotel, you know, most people workers were from the gay society. And the manager on the jute that day was gay. And then it's now time for me to wrap up my service. And this gay man came and went like this. So I could tell, I'm preaching, so I'm seeing it at the back. He opened the door, it's like, time. I'm checking my time. I'm left with a few minutes. I still need to be there. He came back again, disturbing, came back again the third time. I said, people seeing. I leave the, the hotel, the hotel room. I went, I said, what's, what's wrong with you? I'm still preaching. And according to the time we, we are hiring this, this venue, we have not even gotten to the end of it. We still have a lot of minutes. 
So I can't just close. He said, no, you need to close now. Just close now. You need to close. I said, okay. Listen, stay there. Don't follow me this time. I went in there. He followed. He said, so some members started seeing him that, oh, okay, somebody, something is wrong. So I said, sing again. Let's pray. And some sing. And as I went out, I said, look, that's enough now. It's done. I'm not interested in your story anymore. This is something I don't want to hear. I put a line. Shoo. I said, don't cross. I said, if you cross this line, you are done. And if you manage to cross it and nothing happens to you, I will close the service. Now, he was helped by other two Nigerians who are very, very strong Nigerians. They are not talking. Nigerians are very spiritual. So they understand some few things. So they, when they heard the threat, they, they don't want to deal with that. I put a line, that, an invisible line, I just went like this. True story. And this man, this gay guy. I'm not saying gay people move like that, but he was. He got to the line, fell. I was on my way there, I heard the sound, I looked back, the guy is, has fallen down. I said, what? The guy has fallen down. And guess what happened? I looked for the Nigerians. They were gone. <laughs> Nigerians know spiritual things. They, ah, I'm not crossing no line. It's your own, it's your own palaba. <laughs> Imagine how many people have messed you up. My own mother broke a leg because of a witch. Now, you see, when I say these things, it doesn't make sense. I was there. She just said, you are following me at your own, our own house. She arrived there and she was told by my mother, leave. I don't want to see you here. You know, when a witch is also a prostitute. <laughs> and there is a celebration there and she arrived. She said, no, anybody who is not a Christian, go away. So she was just like, trying to be noisy. And my mother said, no, no, we don't need, need this noise. Just go back. I don't want to fight with you. And the people that you started this war with don't want to fight with you. She go to a pot where there is this mango tree. And she said, please, I don't have a problem with you. The person I'm fighting with is that one. And I know it's your house, but please don't cross this line. She crossed. Broke the whole angle. I'm talking about the bone wind like this. This is a mother who prayed for a prophet to be born. You. <laughs> it took a man called Andrew Taunashe to see my mother one time and prayed for her, for her to be well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this not the mother of a prophet yes, sir. Yeah. told by a witch don't go here how can spiritual people be demonic and tell spiritual people don't walk here and a person who is prayerful my mother was prayerful walked into that it was a trap of the devil pa! Hey. automatic oh. you think demons are busy sacrificing children. You have seen people being caught with people's children running away from hospitals. They are going to sacrifice so that they can even have a house. When God is standing there and say, give your offering, you know your dollar is the one. Demons are sacrificing life for life. Yeah. You are sacrificing a dollar because you think you are under grace. Grace is not the license to sin. Yeah. It is an empowerment to stop sin. Thank you, Daddy. When Jesus said, go sin no more, he wasn't instructing the woman to stop sin. He was empowering the woman Jesus. to find it easy to never sin. Here it is. Come, son. Here it is. There was a king, right? Tony, stand here. Face him. 
So there was a king. I don't know which one I use. So for now, because he comes from the royal family yes, of Eswatini, we might be in trouble when we want to go there. Yes, so let's just give him as the holy one of Israel. Yes, sir. You become the evil king, okay? Yes, just for this service. Yes, okay. Now, so the king of Israel is fighting a king who is demonic. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? It's an example. Yes, sir. Come, come, son. So let's just say, stand here, you are the son of this king. Now, the king of Israel is being told by God, you are going to win the battle, no matter what. As the battle is raging, the battle is raging, Israel is winning. So as Israel is advancing, these ones are going back, they are, they are losing. So as they are losing, the king took his son and sacrificed him. Now, when he sacrificed exactly like that, God was behind Israel and saw the evil king who worships the devil, sacrificing his son. God moved from behind Israel and went and supported the king. God switched sides, supported demons. <laughs> That's why the Bible says, so mightily grew the word of God and the word prevailed. Why? Very simple. Because if the word does not prevail, you will be a man with no fire. It is fire that makes you grow. What do you think we are? What do you think Babalola is? Thank you, thank you. Who do you think Babalola was? Who do you think Idawasa is? What causes Pastor Chris to, to, to get a cut and just close it? Like he's closing nothing. Like this. And the wound disappears. What causes that? What causes men like me to threaten a turbulence? Threaten it. What was I going to do? Catch a turbulence? But in the realm of the spirit, the turbulence knew I'm not just a turbulence. I am coming from some. The demons that controlled the turbulence knew we have been threatened. Some of you, as I speak now, you are being moved to higher levels. 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 Zechariah 1 verse number 18. Then I lifted my eyes and saw and behold four horns. Mm -hmm. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, what be these? And he answered, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. These have scattered the city. So what will you do, Lord? And the Lord showed me four carpenters. They are prophets. Then they are prophetic carpenters. Yes, Lord. Those who can fashion a thing. That's why the Bible says the gift of working of miracles. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The gift of working of miracles means you are fashioning one. Oh, yes. Amen. You just don't wake up and go like, there is, let there be a miracle. No, no, no. You create it. Yes. Ah, let's go. Let's go quickly because of time. I said, I saw carpenters. I said, what come this to do? And he spoke saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head, and but these are come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah, to scatter it. Mm. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Now then when he lifted, you saw a measuring line. Things have already changed. Because carpenters have come to create a new season, a new year, a new day. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing this? These be the carpenters that have come. Father by power and by fire. By the authority of the Holy Ghost. Jesus.
Don't Prophesy. Worry about, don't worry about your situation. God is about to take you to another level. Amen. I began to see in the realm of the spirit. Yes, Papa. It was as though somebody had been captured by demonic entities. Yes, prophesy, Papa. That even when I'm talking about this now. Yes, Papa. It is the angels only talking about this woman, this man. Yes, Papa. Yes, Not Papa. even about the mother. Yes, Papa. Because I'm just seeing this man here. Oh, prophesy, Papa. Prophesy, I don't Prophesy. I saw a man. Yes, Papa. But before I go to the man, yes, Papa. I'm seeing you. Yes, Papa. And it is as though you wanted to go on social media. Yes, Papa. To just sell a few clothes. Yes, Papa. That's very true. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. <laughs> there was it's not true. even a building for you to get into. Yes. Because money for the building is not even there. Oh, yes, Papa. Yes, it's true. Yes, Papa. <laughs> it's true, yes, Papa. Prophesy, man of God, it's true. <laughs> so what I began to see in the realm of the spirit was a level by which demonic entities were trying to focus on your family. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa, it's true. As I look like this, yes, Papa, prophesy. I see you travel to nations. Yes, Papa. Yes. Because yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, Papa. Here yes, is what I saw. It was there as if somebody was going to issue an opportunity. Yes. But that opportunity will not be from God. Mm. Let me explain. Help me, Papa. Because Help me, Papa. it will look like, it will even come like if I get money, I will go to Britain where they are going. Yeah. I will even write the same test that they are writing. So I can be a nurse in Britain. But I saw clothes being sold. Yes, clothes. Papa. Yes, Papa. <laughs> She advertises. <laughs> she advertises. Eh? You see here. If I look at this man here, see this man here, on this photo here with this house here. Yes, Papa. This one. I saw a sickness. Yes, Papa. My it's like even the heart. Yes, Papa. It's the true. body is weak. Yes, but it's very sick, Papa. It's very true. Yes, been. And sick. I saw. <laughs> yes, Papa. Even now, the Lord said. Where he has gone yes. was a prophecy for his own death. Yes, Papa, it's Where did he go now? Where did he go? Yes, Papa, it's true. Is he not at the funeral He's now? He's at the funeral, Papa. Oh. Oh. You are a prophet. A prophet to this dispensation. Help me in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes Papa. Help me, Papa. I cancel death. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Stand up. Stand up. You know why? When I came here, God was spelling things and spelling things and spelling things. Yes, Papa. Do you know why God was spelling? He started with M. Then he said, I'm going to give her more blessings. Oh, that's What's the name? My father's What's name? The name? His name is more blessing. That's my father's name. <laughs> oh, I decree and declare. Yes, Papa. More blessings oh, to you. Yes, Papa. More blessings to you. Receive, In the name of Jesus. Yes, Papa. Yes. You. Prophesy, Papa. You think your wealth is outside? It is here. Ah. Yes, Papa. Don't worry, you. Severo, Alaska. You will become a man of God. Because stand up. Yes. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I want to tell you something. Stand up. You are a strong man, be strong. Yes, sir. Now, you will minister the gospel. Amen. It will be like the fire of an evangelist. He's not getting me. It will be like the fire of an evangelist. The Lord ministered to me, as much as no evangelist is becoming popular in these days, I'm raising one here.
Major. Major, you just prophesied to this young man, uh -huh. Uh -huh. this young man on the screen, that you shall preach the gospel, you shall evangelize. And he is confirming prophet that this is the second time because you told him in a dream in 2017 prophet that you shall preach the gospel and he is confirming prophet. You, in 2017, yes, 2017, 2017, 2018, 2019. 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, seven years. Yeah. You are a prophet. Yeah. Jesus. Where are you coming from? May God increase you. Okay. Whatever the enemy has tried to touch you with, I cancel death from your family, sickness from your family. But the Lord ministered to me, even you, you are called. Amen. I'm about to come here in a few minutes. There is a calling upon your life Amen. that you should never ignore. I'm coming here. Woman. No, your money is about to come. I receive pro prophet. Ah, she, they're receiving. I receive it's prophet. Weak. I receive. Is there someone who wants to receive? Yeah. I began to see, as it were. Do something, prophet. Oh, yes. yes. Prophesy. Come close. You know, sometimes you see a person as a nurse. When they are not a nurse. Yeah. You are not a nurse, right? I'm not a okay. nurse. Okay. She's not a nurse. Do something, prophet. But what I saw yes. was night angel. You know night angel? Yes. Mm. The Not first disciple. nurse on earth. What's the name? Florence. Florence. Yes, Papa. That's your name? Yeah. Yes. That's your name, prophet. That's your name. Florence. That's your name. Florence. That's your name, prophet. But I begin to see. Yes, Papa. God says to me, Yes, sir. yes Prophet. Yes, sir. You are together. Yes. yes. Okay, be together. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This should not be cut. Yes. No enemy should separate this. Oh, yes, sir. I receive, Papa. I receive. Thank you, sir. I receive, because I Papa. saw. Yes, sir. As it were. Yes, sir. Angels rising. Yes. And as the angels were rising, I received. They said, We are delivering you yes. from a confusion. Ka -ka -baso. Because yes, you were sir. sitting down going, like, What are we going to do about this money issue? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are we going to go to China? Yes, sir. Do we go to Dubai? Yes, sir. Do we go to Britain? Yes, sir. Do we look for America? Yes. We want to go. Prophet. Maybe we go and buy clothes there and move them here. Yes, sir. Yes, Maybe even yes, cars will work. Prophet. You are sitting down saying, this one is thinking if I do cars. He's actually doing cars, prophet. He's already doing cars. Yes, sir. Yes. It's true, sir. Thank you, Listen. sir. Yeah. Ah, I. I. You major. You better angel. Yes, sir. I begin to see. Yes, sir. Angels arranging themselves in heaven. Yes, sir. I receive. Thank and you. And I heard me. one angel yes. shout by a loud with a loud voice. Yes. Says their issue is over. Thank you. Hear me. Yes. Hear me. Oh, yes. Listen. The time, he said, the time of confusion is over. Yes, sir. An angel. Listen, angel Gabriel said, I'm going to go there. Yes. Yeah. And the Lord said, No, you're not going. Yes. And another angel came and said, I, He shouted, He said, Sazita. Then he said, My name is Michael. I'm yes. going down. Yes, sir. My name is Michael, brother. My name is Michael. Huh? My name is Michael, sir. Your name is Michael. Yes, sir. You are a prophet. Major. See you there. I love you all. Let's celebrate, celebrate our man of God. The prophet of God in a better way. Let's celebrate, let's celebrate. A good news world with Hubert Angel. Provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.